Hello everyone, welcome back to Sumai Pi Lab with another lesson on visualization in Python using Seaborn. In this lesson we will learn how to plot pair plots and joint plots using Seaborn. Before we start plotting, first let me introduce you to the dataset that will be used in the following examples. In this lesson we will use the famous iris dataset that is available in the Seaborn package itself. Here is a labeled picture of a iris flower of species versicolor. This is one of the petals and this is one of the sepals of the flower. This is the length of the petal. And this is the breadth of the petal. Similarly, these are the length and breadth of the sepal. The length and breadth of petals and the length and breadth of sepals of each of the above flower species is stored in the iris dataset. The shape of the dataset is 150 rows and 5 columns. Each row is a single observation. This was a very brief introduction to the iris dataset. Now let's load it into a data frame and explore it. Display the shape of the data frame. And the shape of the data frame is 150 rows by 5 columns. Now let's view the columns of the data frame. Here is the list of column names. Now let's display the first few rows of the data frame. And here are the first 5 rows. Now let's display the last few rows of the data frame. And here are the last 5 rows. We may also view the rows for a particular species as shown here. These are the rows corresponding to the Virginica species. These are the rows corresponding to the Versicolor species. And these are the rows corresponding to the Cetosa species. Now we know what the iris data set is. Let's dive into the plotting activities. Here we have loaded the iris data set as a data frame DF. We may plot this data frame using the pair plot function. The pair plot function plots multiple pairwise bivariate distribution in a data set. The diagonal plots are the univariate plots. What we get is a matrix of plots for each pair of numeric variables in the data set. Let's import the matplotlib.pyplot module as we need it here. Let's run the code and check the output. We will modify the code later for fine-tuning the appearance of the plot. And here is the output. Observe carefully, each numeric variable in the data frame is shared in the y-axis across a single row and x-axis across a single column. Also notice that the plots at the diagonal are for a single variable such as sepal length, sepal width, etc. Now let's add few other parameters to the pair plot function. Hue is used to map plot aspects to different colors. Here, different species will be plotted in different colors. Observe carefully, the markers for Cetosa is blue, Versicolor is orange, and Virginica is green. Now let's add another parameter, Diag underscore kind. This is used for changing the plot types for the plots at the diagonal. The options are Auto, Hist, KDE, and None. Look, the subplots at the diagonal are histograms. Now let's change it to KDE. Now the subplots at the diagonal are KDE, that is, kernel density estimate plots. Now set this parameter to auto. If diag underscore kind is set to auto, the plot type is chosen based on whether or not hue is used. Now let's set the diag underscore kind parameter to none and check the output. The diagonal subplot is gone now. Now let's add another parameter, kind. It determines the kind of plot to draw. When kind is hist, it plots histograms. When the kind parameter is set to KDE, it plots kernel density estimates. We may also set it to scatter plot.
kind equals reg, plots regression lines. We may also change the markers using the markers parameter. We need to provide a list of standard markers to the markers variable. D for diamond, caret symbol for triangle upward, V for triangle downward. Notice the markers of the scatter plots. These are as per our supplied marker values. We may select our choice of numeric variables from the data frame using the VARS parameters. Without it, all the numeric variables will be plotted. We may also mention the X and Y variables explicitly using the X underscore VAR and Y underscore VAR parameters as shown here. C, the x-axis has three variables and y-axis has two variables. We may also use the height parameter for setting the height of the plot. We have set it to 1.5, the default value is 2.5. Now we will use the palette parameter for changing the color combination of the plots. Let's check few palettes one by one. Just follow me along while I change the palettes. We may set the corner parameter to true for drawing a corner plot. This will eliminate the upper triangle, diagonally. Look, only the lower triangle is plotted. We have learned a lot about the pair plot. Now, let's move to our next topic, joint plot. Seaborn.jointplot function helps us to plot a relationship between two variables, also known as a bivariate relationship, while simultaneously plotting the distribution of each underlying variable, univariate. That is, the joint plot function plots two variables with bivariate and univariate graphs. Here we have loaded the data frame df with the iris dataset. Let's plot two variables, sepal underscore length and sepal underscore width of this dataset using the seaborn.jointplot function. And here is our graph. Let's explore the various parts of the graph. The x-axis represents the sepal length and the y-axis represents the sepal width. This is the bivariate relationship between sepal length and sepal width. Here this is a scattered graph. The histogram at the top is the distribution of the sepal length. That is, this is a univariate graph. The histogram at the right-hand side is the distribution of the sepal width. This is another univariate graph. We have learned the basics of the joint plot, now let's move forward with various other parameters one by one. The parameters are almost similar to the pair plot, so I won't talk much about these parameters. Kernel density estimates. Oh no, regression plot with hue parameter is not supported. Let's remove this parameter.
hexagons. Histogram. Residual plot. Set the marker to an asterisk. Marker size too small? Let's increase the size. Let's change the marginal plot appearance. Change the height of the plot using the height parameter. Ratio determines the ratio of joint axis height to marginal axis height. Marginal ticks parameter is set to true for displaying the ticks. Now let's decorate the plot with title, x-axis and y-axis titles, legends, etc. Please note that seaborn.jointplot function returns a joint grid object. Here JP refers to that object. We can set many properties of the JP object using various methods as shown here. Just follow me along. Set underscore axis underscore label method changes the default labels with the supplied labels. Subtitle is used for giving a top-level title to the plot. Look, our plot is now more appealing and conveys meaning in more detail. In this way, by supplying various arguments to the joint plot function we can generate very appealing and meaningful plots. This is all for today's lesson. Let me finish here. If you like this lesson, it will mean a lot to me. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe the channel. Hope to see you in the next, bye.